Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about real case. And here is a question from one of my subscribers. What are the smear lines in my agarose gel electrophoresis result? This is my first time doing agarose gel electrophoresis on PCR. I want to ask what are the smear lines in lane 4 and 7. So here is uh, row number 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, and 7. And it looks like nothing in the lane 1. I'm just wondering if there is negative control here. If not, you probably should run. And the question is about row 4 and 7. So this row and this row in row number 2, we see a ladder and it looks fine. By the way, do we see a clear space here and it looks like it's more clear here and more looking cloudy here. This is due to acidium bromide which is actually doesn't have a charge but in aqueous solutions acidium bromide would be positively charged. So it moves to the negative charge and negative charge is going to be on this side. So this is negative uh, electrode here and positive electrode would be here. And positively um, charged acidium bromide would move in the direction of the negatively charged electrode. And negatively charged DNA, for example here and some bands which we see in the lane 4 and 7, they would move in the direction of the positive electrode. So this is direction in which DNA moves. And as you see, we see here above this band some smearing which represent DNA or it can be other contaminants which higher molecular weight than this band. And also we see here also smearing, which means molecules of the smaller size and smaller molecular weight. Sometimes when your sample is not properly digested, you may experience a smear line. Contaminants or hairpin cause as a result of homology can also give a smear. It is advisable to rerun your sample and compare outcome. As I said, it is advisable to run negative control. In other words, no DNA template is added and you also got amplicons or smears, then this may indicate a cross-contamination. Otherwise, smears can develop mostly due to bad quality primers or maybe low annealing temperature. Sometimes you may need to reduce the amount of your DNA added or amount of the magnesium chloride used to reduce the amount of the TAC polymerase or number of cycles. You also can see such artifacts on your gel electrophoresis if you are adding too much DNA template. It is degraded or contains a lot of RNA. Running an amplified DNA sample would tell you if it is a case. It might also be that one of your primers has homology with a repeat sequence and that one primer is binding to many places in both orientations and amplifying a smear. But too much template seems more likely in this case. And this is all my advices for today. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next video. Goodbye.